Tens of thousands of fans have gathered at Hawthorne's spiritual home to celebrate their premiership success. It was standing room only as the Hawks presented the cup to their happy supporters. Chris Jones begins our coverage. Glen Ferry Oval was a sea of brown and gold as a huge crowd crammed into the venue to salute their premiership heroes. That's what we're talking about! Woo! The players relatively reserved after a whirlwind 24 hours as they were introduced to their supporters one by one. And then, not for the first time, they belted out a stirring rendition of the club's theme song. The biggest cheers were reserved for Shane Crawford, and while he hasn't decided on his future just yet, the fans are in no doubt he should play on. I reckon he's, there's still a spot for him in the, in the best 22 for sure. On the best of all time, mate. He's an absolute ripper. Yes, he should, but he's a bloody legend. As the players started to absorb what they'd achieved, along came a warning that it's only the beginning. If this bunch stays together, who knows what we could be, so... We're a young team, we're a maturing team, and look, we're just looking forward to the future. As the sirens sounded, many believed a new era had begun. The young oh, yeah, Hawks may well have pinched in. one, perhaps a little ahead of their time. And that gave the celebrations an extra kick. From the MCG, the team headed straight to Federation oh, Square, guys. where the raw emotion was overflowing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And once again, that now famous catch cry was in full voice. That's what we're talking about. At Crown Casino, the players were again on show, a quiet dinner with family and friends, just the tonic. It was there where the Hawks stars began to reflect on the year which had delivered the club's 10th premiership. Well, I guess it's exactly what you think it would be like, but 50 times better. The emotion, you don't know what to feel, it's just a big... Thanks, Luke. Looking forward to the next week or so. Bloody hell. But today they weren't doing too much thinking, just living the moment. And it will continue tomorrow with similar scenes expected when the team travels to Tasmania. Chris Jones, Nine News. That's what I